The Charles Rennie Macintosh Church at Queen's Cross in Glasgow has recently undergone a £1 million restoration. The Charles Rennie Macintosh Society are now running their first ever schools education programme here. Primary and secondary school groups are now being invited to the new visitor centre for practical art workshops, making art education fun. My name's Anna Sadler, I'm an art workshop leader as well as an artist based in Glasgow, um, running workshops throughout Glasgow and the local community and in particular I've been brought in by Sean Azir, Arts Education Officer, to facilitate education workshops here within the church. Good, and I love the idea of a boat as well, I can really see the shape there. Get a, a headless boat. A headless bird! Gosh. It's a design detectives workshop today. It was an arts education workshop, um, really utilising the church itself. So this is probably one of the only museums in Glasgow where they're actually able to have a hands-on experience um, in a safe environment. So that's a fantastic part of this, this building here. Beautiful. Really nice. The workshop today involved looking at the designs of Charles Rennie Macintosh, and in particular how his motifs, symbols and logos, um, which are located around the church. And then the second part of the workshop is based on the youngsters actually redesigning their own motif based on Charles Rennie Macintosh's work and um, implementing a final design using block printing, a good complete workshop based on design. And an opportunity for the children to actually come out of school and work within an environment that is different. So, I'm going to go with this design just because it's quick and easy. So, yeah, pressing nice and hard over our design. Peel it away. Good. Whoa! Wow. That's psychedelic, isn't it? That's nice. <laughs> Often they come to these workshops with... Uh, basic knowledge of Charles Rennie Macintosh. I always try to um, decipher where, how much knowledge they do know um, based on what they've learnt within the school environment. Charles Rennie Macintosh's work is so diverse from being an architect, an interior designer, a, you know, an artist. So his work covers many diverse range across the creative arts. So it's a very adaptable person to look at. You can look at his design, his artwork. So, yeah, based on those sort of criteria and the fact that his work is so prominent throughout the city and it can be looked into in many different different ways. It's only when they come out to a building and are actually be able to see his work in the real that they're, they really um, get a sense of what he did and what type of person he was and um, his creative attributes. I think it's a fantastic environment um, for many different reasons, for the fact that it's been brought we can bring in children into the environment itself and, and the local community and I feel that we need to try and um, bring more people in into this place because when they do come in they're like wow this is so amazing I didn't realise this was here and um, oh, I have to tell my friends and things and I think often it is word of mouth and, and with more, more of the events that we're going to be putting on as well as the education and outreach work that's happening here I think it will become more and more of a place that, is, that feels more accessible to the community and which it is.